What's good, YouTube? Welcome back, Dub Digital. Crypto news, macro trends. Give me a like, comment, subscribe if you like this content. I'm bringing you technical analysis on all your favorite altcoins. None of your favorite YouTubers talk about. I got you. We're going to go through all this stuff, how to profit and become better investors because we got a very, very smart group of individuals over here who want to get down to business. Let's get to the TA. What's good, everybody? Glad you made it back over. We're going to go over Ampleforth BTC pair all the way from KuCoin. KuCoin. Um, Ampleforth, you don't know about it. I don't know that much about it, but Ampleforth forth i think is a self-regulating like expanding and contracting monetary system so it's based off the code so based off of the needs of the ecosystem releases more monetary units into the ecosystem and reduces the amount of monetary units in the ecosystem based on the needs of the ecosystem pretty interesting stuff so if you're a hard money kind of person this probably isn't your coin but if you're a DeFi person this is what you live for right so let's get into it okay so ample for i know it's a new coin but i don't know if it goes past this chart i just pulled a kucoin chart on this one 2019 november so it's pretty recent here just to give you guys an understanding whenever i'm trying to estimate very very new coins i look at its price it was released at and where we are currently i never like to buy completely like prices super high over these new assets. I have no compass. Look, there's nothing, there's nothing. This thing reached price discovery like in seven months. There's nothing beyond there for me to use. I saw Ample Forth running up at this price. I saw it going up. At that point, it was like up almost 400%. It was all over YouTube. Now, no one's talking about it. Where's all the Ample Forth people? I'm here. You know why? Value investing. We like to pick up depressed assets. We know Ample Forth can perform in a hype market. We know Apple Ford is capable of generating hype like it did in July of this year. If it happens once, can it happen again? You you damn well bet it can. Okay, so let's just apply a fib retracement tool before we do anything else. Y'all know I love that tool. That's very rough, but there it is. Looks like this thing came down, came down, big come down and did some accumulation. What I tell you about doubling patterns, a sign of accumulation. So from August 4th, 2020, August 28th about, we had accumulating Ws. And recently, the 29th of August, this thing shot up approximately 185%. It's currently correcting down about 40%. So just as we applied this Fibonacci retracement tool, let's also apply it to this smaller pump. So currently, the price is inside the 61.8 Fibonacci level, the golden pocket, the legendary area of Lilo for all traders all around the world and in Middle Earth. So what could happen here, guys? Notice the big match with equal sell volume. Why do people sell this low? Who sells this low? I'll tell you who. It's the people who are buying right here, guys. Hate to break it to you, but that's why people accumulate. So when there's a pump and it was like hundreds of percent, they're unloading on that pump. That's why it's important, at least if you follow my my channel to be aware of momentum moves and how they could just drop on you. You're flirting with danger when you're riding a momentum move because the asset is higher than it's ever been, at least locally higher than it's ever been. People who bought into this pump here probably getting decimated right now. Just like people who bought in this pump here got decimated. But this is a good example to you guys to help illustrate the psychology of the market, the psychology of pumps. It's better to understand what's going on so you can think it through and understand the logic. And because of that logic, you can make better informed decisions decisions moving forward right so this thing pumped up and it dropped let's just do some measuring because these drops are huge 60 percent pumped up again approximately 85 percent dropped down 40 percent pumped up again pumped up again 40 percent and then mega dropped 80 percent these iterations these ups and downs notice something guys constriction this is a descending triangle that was forming out on the daily chart of ampleforth over a period of about a month didn't even make it to the apex we had about maybe another half a month or so to go so this just goes to show you guys that look the reason this thing bounced up was because people were buying the dip like they've been trained to do in the stock market buy the dip drop through you guys have to have some understanding of technical analysis if you're going to spend your hard-earned money in this space follow this channel i'm going to try to share my knowledge with you through osmosis through this computer screen hopefully you guys pick it up this is essentially like falling off the cliff Someone reaching out, grabbing with their hands, think they can get back up. One hand slipping, they, they're like, nah, I got this, and then they fell off. Anyone who wasn't participating in here, this was an opportunity, but it takes some patience. Between this huge pump and this huge dump and the next pump, it's about a month splits in between. Something happens, you see a huge dump, you don't have to act right away, guys. You can step back, take a breather, go take a nap, go eat something, come back in a week or two, check it out. You just want to find the setups where you know what's going on. Put yourself in the best possibility to profit. You don't just have to 
take anything the market throws at you. I digress. Ample for new asset. That's why we have so much chop. As this asset matures and it verifies that it's able to consistently bring in such huge volume. Look at that thing. Look at this. Then it dries out and it pumped up again. If it can do this over and over and over again, perhaps this is just one of those pumpy dumpy assets. Just like RSR guys. I love me some RSR. But it tells you that there's a rabid group of supporters in these coins who keeps buying them, selling them buying them, selling them. They could take their money and go to any coin. Be personally being an investor, I wouldn't do that unless I had some faith in the underlying asset because there's a chance that I'll be stuck with the underlying asset. So guys, what might happen with this? Over the long-term trend, if you can even say that for this asset, I'm gonna draw one line and it's gonna help you out. Check this out guys, I drew this one line here. So the price has just been flirting up and above this point. We're looking for a definitive resistance support flip. I am thinking, as time will confirm, this is the resistance support flip. And from that point, we'll keep stair-stepping over time and eventually keep testing all-time highs. That's all I got for you today on Ample Forth. Hopefully you you guys enjoyed that video and if you did give me a like subscribe hit the bell notification to make sure you guys stay on top of this all coin market because we are talk to y'all later i'm dub digital crypto news macro trends peace